love this Just for Kids video. If you're having a little trouble with the picture on the TV now, maybe you just need to adjust the tracking on your VCR. That's the little switcher button just at the bottom of your tape player. If you need help, just call mom or dad or big brother or big sister. They'll help you. See you soon and enjoy the show. <laughs> Isn't it? How sometimes the biggest, most important things happen when you least expect them to. You see, it all started on a normal, perfectly ordinary day when some workmen brought up an old sunken ship from the bottom of the harbor. still in diapers when this tub went down. Wonder what she was carrying. Well, whatever that stuff is, it's been underwater an awful long time. It's probably all junk by now. We might as well dump the whole cargo. Wait a minute. There's one carton down there that looks like it's still in pretty good shape. Of course, I didn't know it yet, but what those workmen found in that old sunken ship would soon change my life in a very special way. Dear Sandy, would you please go to the store and pick up some things for dinner? Love, Mom. Gotta go! Well, all done. Steak and salad, huh? Looks like your dad's home. Not yet, but soon I hope. Mom and I miss Father a lot when he's away on his research trips, but we do the best we can until he gets home. Phew, it's heavy. There. Sandy, I've got a package here for your grandmother. For Grandma? Mm-hmm. Here it is. But Grandma doesn't live here anymore. It was sent 38 years ago. It was on a ship that went down in the harbor. They just recovered the cargo a couple of days ago. Mother, come take a look. For you. It was sent from Australia. From Australia? Yep. 38 years ago. Can we open it? Hmm, let me call Grandma. Grandpa must have sent it before it disappeared. My, I can't wait to see what it is. I'll come over right away. According to the postmark, Grandpa must have sent it to me just before his research team in Australia told us about his disappearance. I can't imagine what's inside. I hope it's all right after all this time. There. Oh. Huh? What could they be? I haven't the slightest idea. Look, a teddy bear. It's an Australian koala bear. Koala bears sure are cute. Whoever made it sure knew what they were doing. It must have been expensive. Why, Mom? If it was from a factory, it wouldn't look so real. It must have been handmade by an expert. Let your grandma have a look, dear. Sure, Grandma. Hmm, it does look like a real koala bear. Imagine that after all these years, it's finally arrived. What do you mean, Grandma? You see, my dear, your grandfather knew how very much I loved koalas and that I'd always wanted to have one as a pet, so he promised to send me one. That was the last time I heard from him. He was in the Australian wilderness, you see, doing research on koala bears when he suddenly disappeared. 
Well, I finally have my koala bear. Um, but that's not a real live koala bear, Grandma. It's a stuffed animal. Sandy, dear, you must understand. It was Grandpa's last gift to Grandma, which makes it very special. Yes, I see what you mean. Grandpa, he was so sweet when he couldn't send a real koala, he sent me this one instead. Take good care of him. Golly, Grandma. For me? Be sure to handle it carefully, dear. Calm down. I'm sure Sandy will take very good care of him. After all, dear, it is only a stuffed animal. Of course, if Grandpa had sent me a real koala, I would have been prepared. What do you mean, Mother? Why do you suppose I planted those eucalyptus trees out there? Eucalyptus leaves are the only thing that koala bears will eat. Well, what do you know? If he were a real-life koala bear, he'd be sure to have plenty to eat every day. Grandma's given you something very special, dear. Aren't you going to say thank you? Positively, Mom. Thanks for letting me have him, Grandma. I think my new koala bear's wonderful. My, he is cute, isn't he? And I know that you'll take good care of him. Don't worry, Grandma. I will. Sandy, dear. Mm-hmm. I've got to drive Grandma home, then stop by my office for a while. Why not start your homework, and we'll have a nice dinner when I get back. Okay, Mom. See you later, then. Ready, Mother? Yes, dear. <laughs> I never met anyone from Australia before. In fact, I never met a koala bear till now. I'd love for you to tell me about Australia and what it's like there. If you could talk, I bet I could learn a lot. Of course, I'm not silly enough to really expect you to say anything, but we can still be best friends and have a whole lot of fun together. Whoever made you did a great job. Wow. I can't understand how they sewed you together after you were stuffed. There aren't any stitches anywhere. It really is amazing. And it makes it a lot easier to pretend that you're real. In fact, you look so much like a real-life koala bear that the first thing I've got to do is give you a name. Now, what should I call you? I've got to pick exactly the right name for you. Like, uh... uh... Blinky! <gasps> Must be my imagination. I thought you said something, but how? Why, you're not even alive. Are you? Mm -hmm. <gasps> uh... Oh, please don't tickle me anymore. I give up. I'm punished, I do. Whoa! 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 Hi, don't worry. I just need some time to warm up. Uh, I'm just a little stiff because I've been sleeping huh? for so long. Know what I mean? Yeah, sure. <laughs> like I was telling you before, my name is Blinky. What's your name? What's my name? I'm crazy. I mean, Sandy. I mean that my name is Sandy, but I think I'm going crazy because I'm sitting here talking to a stuffed animal. Are you really talking to me or am I dreaming? Why, of course you're not dreaming. I'm just as real as you are. <laughs> But that's impossible. You weren't moving around a few minutes ago. <laughs> I am now. You mean you can make the impossible possible? That happens to be my specialty. Well, I think you're quite wonderful, Blinky, and I'm very happy to meet you. <laughs> you're embarrassing me. Can you tell me how long I was sleeping, Sandy? Huh? I really don't know, Blinky. Well, how long ago was that package sent? Let me see, the mailman told me it was sent around 38 years ago. Mm-hmm. Overslept a little, didn't I? Well, now that you're here and awake, let's be friends. What do you say? Mm -hmm. You bet. <laughs> I'm gonna have lots of fun. <laughs> oh, Binky! Lots of fun, huh? Without me, I suppose. I want to go home. Relax, Pinky. Everything's all right. Everything's not all right. You overslept again, didn't you? Goodness. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You've been asleep for so many years, I can't even count that high. Pinky! But now we're going home. You hear me? Uh, come on. Hold uh, on, Pinky. Don't uh, be in such a rush. Uh, this is a wonderful uh, place. Uh, we're going to have a whole lot of fun here, I promise you. Uh, I haven't made a brand new friend named Sandy. Huh? Who's Sandy? Oh, um, glad to meet you. Hmm. Pinky, stop being rude to Sandy. You hear? Why shouldn't I be rude to someone who's trying to stop us from going home? I'm your sister, Blinky, and you should listen to me, not her. Hey, Blinky was the one who said he wanted to be my friend. I'm not trying to keep him here against his will, right? Uh -huh. I don't care what you say, Blinky, and I should go home now. It's not fair to make Blinky leave just because you want to. I'm very hungry, and I'm sure that Blinky is too. Yes, what do you think we're going to eat, Smarty? 
Elite eucalyptus leaves like we always do, Pinky. Yeah. Uh-oh. Eucalyptus don't grow around here. Huh? <sighs> Wait a minute, Pinky. Believe it or not, I smell eucalyptus. I don't believe it. There aren't any around here. Oh, yes, there are. Just look in the backyard. Where's that? Hey! Right this way. Follow me. Come on. <laughs> you see, Pinky, my nose always knows. Just a minute, you two. Wait for me. You see, right over there. Golly, it's like a dream come true. Boy, oh boy, they sure are beautiful. I'm getting real hungry just from looking at them. Help yourself. Making that up, because you don't want to come back home with me. I bet you're gonna like it once you try it. I Pinky. doubt it. <laughs> you see, I told ya. Mother's back. Golly, she sure is gonna be surprised when she finds out about you two. Huh? Better not let her mom find out. Grown-ups cause so much trouble. Wonderful surprise for you. You finished all your homework, is that it, dear? Nope, it's a much bigger surprise than that. My, you certainly do seem excited. What is it? It's absolutely amazing. Come on upstairs, Mom. I just can't wait for you to see this. <gasps> You're lucky. You can just pretend to be a stuffed animal again, but I gotta get out of here. Take a look. Do you notice anything out of the ordinary, Mom? I see that new stuffed animal of yours, but why on earth did you put it there? But, Mother, I didn't put him there. Huh? Well, then how did he get out there, dear? Uh, by himself. Himself? He's not a doll, Mom. He's alive, and he was very hungry. So he was eating eucalyptus leaves, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Both of them were. You see, that's Blinky, and he's got a sister named Pinky, and they hadn't eaten ever since they left Australia, so you can just imagine how hungry they must have been. Yes, dear, of course, he would be. It's only natural after 38 years with no food, I'm sure he'd be very hungry indeed. If he were real, that is. Now, I know it's fun to pretend that he's real, but you and I both know that he's not. Now, don't we, dear? Honest, Mother, I'm telling you the truth. You've got to believe me. you just got to. Thanks to you, my mom thinks I'm imagining things, Blinky. Now stop pretending and come inside. I'll come and get you if I have to. All right. Oh. Uh, ah! Huh? Huh? What happened? I saved you, of course. But if you weren't holding Blinky, I wouldn't have known you were in trouble, so you better be more careful from now on. Uh, yeah. I simply can't imagine why my brother is being so stubborn about staying here to make friends with a silly person like you. But I'm stubborn too, and I'll make him change his mind soon enough. You'll see. Goodbye. Oh. Will you please stop pretending to be a stuffed animal and wake up? What's the matter with you? I just can't understand it. You were moving and talking a few minutes ago. Pinky's right. You are stubborn, aren't you? You win. I give up. See you tomorrow. Hi, Sandy! Oh, Mama, Blinky woke up. He's moving around and talking just like I told you. Come and see. Oh, oh. I'm still so sleepy. Hey, don't fall asleep yet, Blinky. You gotta stay awake so you can meet my mom. Oh, no, not again. Blinky, wake up. Sandy? You sound terribly upset. What's the matter, dear? Is something wrong? Uh, Blinky was talking, but then he fell asleep again. Really? Hmm. You don't seem to have a fever or be coming down with anything. Perhaps all you need is a little more sleep, dear. Um, I'm fine. Honest. 
You must be overtired or you wouldn't be imagining these things. I'm sure all you need is a little more rest, dear. That's all. You think I'm making it all up, then I'm lying, don't you? Of course not. I'm sure that whatever you're imagining seems quite real to you. I know that you'd never lie to me on purpose. I'm not imagining things, Mom. He is real. When he's asleep like he is now, he's like a doll. But when he wakes up, he's a real animal. And there must be some special way of waking him up that I haven't figured out yet. I see. I'll tell you what, dear. Why don't you go to bed early this evening and get a good night's sleep, and we'll talk about Blinky in the morning, all right? <clears throat> Blinky? Oh, you? I thought you said you wanted to be my friend. Seems to me if you were really my friend, you would have shown my mother that I was telling the truth. That was a very mean thing to do. Well, what have you got to say for yourself, Blinky? What's the matter with you anyway? <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Sure is nice to see you again. Well, now, it's about time. <sighs> Blinky? Mm. Hey! Right! Hi! You know, I think I understand the secret now. All I gotta do is just nuzzle your nose and then you'll wake up again. Whenever I want you to wake up, I just go like this. <laughs> A little nuzzle's all it takes, Sandy. <laughs> Golly, this is great. Now that I've learned to wake you up anytime I want to, I know that we're gonna have a wonderful time. Hey, let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> She should have been in bed by now. What is she doing up there? <laughs> Looks like you're having fun. That's right, Pinky, we sure are. <laughs> hey, maybe this place isn't so bad after all. See? Told ya. Sandy, Pinky? what's going on up there? Sandy? Uh-oh. Hurry up. In the bed, quick. Sleepy at all, you two. I want to play some more. Gee, the moon sure is pretty tonight. When you're flying up high, it's even prettier. Good idea. Would you like to fly, Sandy? But that's impossible, Pinky. It's not impossible when you know as much about magic as I do. But if I let you fly, then you gotta let me and Blinky go home. I don't care if I never fly at all. Being friends with Blinky is <laughs> what's important to me. Hmm? I'll bet you we can find plenty of other ways to have fun. Right? Uh-huh. Just to show you how nice I can be, I'm going to use my magic and let you go flying anyway. What's that? Pinky's Magic Compact. Wow. Jump inside the bubble. It'll take us on a magical ride, Sandy. Okay. Oh, golly. <laughs> Here we go. Pinky, aren't you going to come with us? No, thanks. Flying around is not that special for me. I do it all the time. But say hello to Mr. Moon for me. Remember not to close your contact till we're back. Okay. Up, up and away. <laughs> <laughs> what fun. Friendly. 
I don't know what it is, but it sure looks scary. Ah! Come on now, Pinky. I know you can hear me. This joke's not funny. Cut it out. What if something's happened to Pinky's magic compact and she isn't able to help us? Then what do we do? Hold my hand and take a real deep breath. Don't you worry, Sandy. Everything's going to be all right. I promise. <gasps> into magic sleepy time. I have to get their noses together to wake them up. Mmm, mmm, now. There, that ought to do it. Hey, 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 I did do it my hands on, on you. You should be back here. So. It You're wasn't me. my fault. We I got my hands on you. Who was it that was going to eat me up? Yes, you did. Oh. Oh. Hey, my bag of tricks. What a neat time traveling watch. Where'd it come from? The high dingy do of Koala Walla Land himself gave oh, it to us, right. remember? Oh, that's right, I forgot. Hey, don't open that. It's magical flying pancake mix. Watch 